Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk. I'm Roddy Nigel Mayfield. We got a hot show for you tonight. The topic is expressing her femininity or thirst trapping. So let's get to it. person special guest to the straight butter studio tonight she and i will chop it up about this topic expressing her femininity or thirst trapping welcome to the show <laughs> introduce yourself to my audience and the tens of thousands of people who will eventually watch this video tell them your name and where you're from hello everyone my name is michelle alexander i am originally from memphis all right i went to booker t washington high school go warriors i also graduated from lamorne on college go magicians and i am 45 years old and i will turn 46 in september go virgo all right all right all right michelle what is your initial thoughts on the topic title of this show, Expressing Her Femininity or Thirst Trapping? Well, with the thirst trapping part, people may say that I thirst trap because on social media, I like to post nice photos of myself and I think people kind of use the word thirst trapping a little bit too loosely because everything is not a thirst trap because women we like to show our body men like to show their body so it all depends on the person i believe so when you say women are you speaking for all women are you speaking for some women because i'm quite sure that i can find some women that will tell you that they don't like to show their body. So you're speaking for a, a small segment of women who like to show them their, their bodies, correct? Yes, and also I'm speaking for myself. All oh, right, okay, gotcha. I'm speaking for myself. I gotcha. So have you ever had any men or women go to your DM or even on the actual page and say that you're thirst trapping? No. Never? Never. Never, even in your Never. DM? Never, okay. never. Okay. Because when I post photos, <laughs> They're slightly revealing, but it's not overly revealing because I have nice size breasts. Ouch. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it out there. Wow. I have nice size breasts, and they were given to me <laughs> by God. So why not? I mean, why not show them? But oh, I don't show it in a way that you know is too revealing. But you know that I have them, so. I mean, well, if if you have nice sized breasts, as you say, and I'm I'm gonna keep my eyes focused on this level right here, uh, a man would be able to recognize that in whatever attire you have on, correct? Whether it's uh, low cut or high cut, cut or even having a boost up bra or a t-shirt, a man would recognize that, wouldn't you think? That's correct, but I don't dress for men. I dress for myself. Okay. If I feel comfortable in it, if I feel sexy in it, I'm going to wear it. Okay, so what do you feel a woman at 46, 45 years of age, I'm trying to give you 46, I think you could probably pass for 36, 10 years younger. Uh, for a teenager who... <laughs> that's why it's not live and I thought I put it on mute but I didn't put that on mute alright what do you feel a teenager who is influenced by social media and all of these women who have all of this makeup on and have all of these uh, what do you call those little filters on and do you think these young girls are influenced by older women who should be teaching them uh, certain morals uh, doing the same thing they do. Do you think that it's uh, you're influencing them in the wrong way or the right way? 
well with that anybody can become influenced by anything I don't know if this might not be done Look at you. That's why you need them some shoes. So, do you think that women in their 30s or 40s are influencing teenage girls in the wrong way by being scantily clad or revealing more than they should reveal on social media? Well, I feel anybody can be influenced by anything. And if a person who's not that young girl's parent, I mean, these people can do what they want to do. Now, if that young girl decides to look up to that person, that's on her. But that's when her parents should step in and talk to her and do things of that nature. Let people be themselves. Let them do what they want to do. I mean... Well, uh, I, I don't agree with that assessment. You said you said, you, you said let people do what they want to do. Yes. If they are grown, they yes. do what they want to do. But yes. if they are teenagers and they are in the confines of a home and they have parents, especially parents that care, their parents should actually monitor everything they do on social media. I just now, I, I, yeah, but I know that doesn't happen. But uh, I think teenagers are really taking uh, steps to look at the people who are older, especially women, and just following uh, their script. They're okay, script. and I understand that, but that's why you have parents. Now, if their parents are doing the same thing, we as other women that aren't their parents have nothing to do with that. Well, what's your definition of thirst trapping? I'll tell you what my definition is, but I'm also read what the Urban Dictionary and the Wikipedia says what thirst trapping is to them. I think thirst trapping is showing or doing explicit things to get attention. Explicit meaning nudity. Nudity. Uh, you have some young ladies, women, that will put on underwear and twerk okay. in front of the camera, things of that nature. But men also thirst trap. Give yes. Me, give me an example of a man okay. thirst trapping. I've seen men at the gym. Your pants do not have to be that tight when you're working out. Because you know it's going to show. And then you have on these tight tank tops and shirts. Yeah, they're thirst trapping also. So don't don't put it all on the women. Well, well, I mean, I know men can thirst trap as well. Uh, posting photos, especially if they have a good body. I don't think a man with a flabby body is going to uh, thirst trap if you see him on social media posting a photo of his big belly. That's oh, not I've thirst seen trapping. It. It will, but that's not thirst trapping. I think this guy's trying to be funny. He's but he may think life. he's sexy though. Uh, but he's not sexy. But he may think he's uh, sexy. I, I, I highly doubt There's that. There's a lot of women out there that like I don't want to say overly obese men. I'll just say a little thicker. Well, I, I know a woman who's very close to me who like Big guys. Uh, but most women don't like big guys. And then you say overly big guys, thick. What's thick? What is what is thick to you? Is 300 pounds thick or is that too much? For me, that's too much. Okay. I'm tiny. Okay. Now, so. what what would be thick for you for a guy? Do you know uh, how to measure a guy as far as his height and weight and say... That's the guy I like. That's the, my, my type of guy. Or do you just look at him and say, "No, he ain't the one." I would just look at him and be like, "Okay, okay." Not the one. okay. But do you, you do like thick? Sometimes. Now, ha has there ever been men who have gone into your DM and sent you pictures of their genitals or uh, of their bodies? You know, uh, they just came from the gym and. And they just exposed it all. Now that's thirst trapping. Have you ever had that? Yes. Okay. Plenty of times. Plenty of times. Have you Plenty. ever have you ever done that to them? Have you ever seen guys on online that you saw that you said, Man, this guy's nice looking and uh, let me send him a 
revealing photo. Have you ever done that before? That I have not. Because like I said, the pictures that I sometimes post on social media, they're nice photos to where, hey, you can see some stuff, but it's not explicit. Okay, so if there was a man who was willing to pay you a handsome amount of money, five figures, six <laughs> figures, would you be tempted to take that money because he saw the photos of you and say, hey, I'm willing to give you this, especially being in Memphis in an NBA town, and you know NBA players throw out $50,000 in a couple of hours in the shake joints. Would you be willing to compromise your integrity? I don't know where your integrity level is. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you. Would you compromise your integrity to sell your body or to sell the photos, videos for a handsome amount of money, regardless of what that amount of money is? And I'm going to keep it absolutely real with you. Keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. Really real. A nice chunk of money, you can get a nice photo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying because the thing with that is I'm single now. Okay. So I can pretty much do what I want. Okay. But if I was in a relationship or married, it would be totally different. But yeah, drop it off. Okay. Now, Let's bring God into the equation. Yes, yes, yes. This this show right here is, we talk about dating and relationship topics, but we also compare God's way versus the world's way. Not to try to uh, convict you or look down on you because we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Don't make me roll my eyes. Now, it's, roll them. Roll them like a bowling ball. Now, what do you think about these women who are married and some of them are in relationships on social media and they're always showing their backside they're always showing their cleavage if I had a wife my wife wouldn't be doing that number one I would know what type of character she had before I married her but that's tacky she's married what do you consider that thirst trapping yes and I also consider that being disrespectful uh, well I concur yes I concur but like I said I can't tell people of what course. to do with their bodies, this, that, and the other. And if her husband hasn't said anything, maybe he's okay with it. Maybe he don't know. Somebody has told him. Because <laughs> people are know, and especially if you're in Memphis, everybody knows everybody. So people like to talk. Uh, so Memphis, yeah. Memphis is small, but not that small, but... When you're on social media, I guess you're right. Yeah. Somebody has seen you. Yes. Yeah. Because just example, last year I was at um, the Southern Heritage Classic tailgate, minding my own business, walking. I walked past this guy. He was like, "Hey, Michelle Alexander." Don't know who he is. Wow. But he was like. Girl, right. you know you be posing for them photos. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my goodness. So this is Memphis. You never know who you may run into. Well, well, like I said, social media. Yes. I'm quite sure that if you have Facebook friends who are guys who stay out of town, correct? Yes. Yeah. So I'm sure if you were to wander on vacation to Florida or Atlanta, wherever you uh, you would travel, I'm quite sure that perhaps somebody may say, this woman looks familiar. Hey, isn't your name Michelle Alexander? I'd be like, no. He go forty thousand dollars. I would be like, no. He go hundred thousand dollars. No. Yes, you'd be like, no. yes, yes. No. It's a big chunk of change, like you no. said earlier. Now, you no. said earlier, it's a big chunk of change. I said a picture. No, uh, if you're in my yeah. face talking about that, uh, uh-uh. uh, people are like kidnapping people nowadays. Well, and they, even though nowadays they do doing that. Older, they still want the older. Well, I'll, I'll say this for women who are getting older, men who are 50 years old don't date women usually who are their same age. They date 10 to 15 years and some 20 years younger. Now, 20 years for me is too, 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 too young because we don't have anything in common but the physical. Outside of that, what can we talk about? And why do you think they're dating them? Be- for, for, because for, for, of the physical. 
the men are. Yes. Yeah. The, the men are trying to rediscover their fountain of youth. And most women who are 20, 25 years younger than a man, they're not dating this guy for love. They're dating him for his, for security, for his bag. For his security and for his bag. They don't sometimes even want the secure. They just want the bag. Well, that's that's a form of no, security. No, when I say the bag, I'm not talking about the bag. You're talking about they're doing these this stuff for purses. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's oh, the yeah, well, I'm yeah about. Ma- They don't care anything about, you know, security and all that. They want the material stuff. Well, well the material is one thing, but you can't mm-hmm. sell a Dooney Burke's mm-hmm. purse for the amount of money that you paid for it if you, you were hungry. You see what I'm saying? If your utilities were cut off. And they weren't going to allow you to get another extension. You know, <laughs> I, I think a lot of people in Memphis uh, especially know that. So, but let's bring God into the equation. Is God happy? You think God is pleased with women exposing themselves when the Bible clearly states that women should dress moderately? And not just women, but also men. And your assets, your breasts, uh, are supposed to be the pleasurable toy for your husband. So, what do you think God would say? If you, Do you know this scripture? Yes, I know. Okay, a few. Okay. What do you, what do you think a holy God would say about a woman who is bearing it all and bending over and showing her a camel toe and everything else? Yeah, women have fake camel toes. Now we gonna talk about thirst trapping. You have women with these tight spandex spandex pants on, uh, with the camel toes showing, and some of them have fake camel toes. <laughs> well, when this when this show is over, I'm gonna show you a picture I don't of think a I wanna see fake it. camel toe that these women have. They they strap around their waist and put it on, and then they put those tight pants on. And some guys look at that. And now that's thirst trapping. Well, yeah, it's, that's yeah, thirst trapping. Yeah, just concur. being, yeah, just yeah. being. Baby. That's that's over the top. That's, that's over the top. You know, I don't have a problem with a woman dressing sexy, but it's to a point where she is revealing everything to me. That's a turn off. And I'm just speaking uh, on, on my behalf. Now, men like that, and men will have sex with women like that, but they won't take their woman home to mama. True. You know what I'm saying? I know how men are. I, 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 I've been around thousands of them, and I've been around thousands of women. Now, people say, all right, he's never been around that. I've been to five different continents, 20 plus different countries. So I know. I know women and I know men. And that's why when I say something on this talk show, I'm not just shooting the breeze. I'm telling you what I know. You know, so back to the show. My definition of thirst trapping is a woman who is revealing uh, more skin than she should reveal for attention. Whether she's trying to get people to men to uh, contact her or women to contact her in her DM, drop her a few uh, bucks on her cash app or whatever these other apps are, I think that's thirst, thirst trapping when she goes to that extreme to try to lure men with her body. And when women do that, they are really appealing to the worst part of a man, and that's his sin nature. Okay, and I'm going to stop you right there. Now talk about the men thirst trap. It's the same exact thing. Uh-uh, yeah. but we're always talking about the women, women, yeah. women. So yeah. let's talk about the men for a minute. Well, now I'll say what you need to say about the men. A man, revealing them a, a man that sends dingling pictures to a woman is thirst trapping because if he's packing, he sends her that picture because a lot of women want to try out that guy. You know, because if he's like a Mandingo, they want to see what he's working with. And a lot of men do that because he know if the woman block him, he don't care. He didn't lose anything. He don't know her. You know, it was a chance that he took because he has gotten other women to say, hey, here's my number. Give me a call. Some women do go for that. And if he has a fine physique, a fine body like me, <laughs> yes, 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 ma'am, I did say that. Uh... If he has a fine physique like me, uh, or even better, then he sends photos to women in their DMs and hoping that they're going to be like, oh, girl, look at this. Because some women go. But some women block that that type of guy. Some women don't go for that. And you know something? I've blocked people. Because 
it gets to a point to where it's too much. And a lot of the time... Do you get a lot of that stuff? I used to. Okay. But now, I don't really indulge in that anymore. I'll just block people now because it gets to be too much. And the men do it more than the women. You think? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I wouldn't doubt that because... Believe it or not, you have a lot of lonely men out here. And you have a lot of lonely women. Now, you may look at a man and say, oh, he's handsome, he has it going on, he has a nice house, nice car, nice job, he makes six figures. This guy may be lonely. It's hard for him to get a woman. I don't know why, I don't know if it's because of his personality, uh, because he's been hurt in the past, but the same thing that applies to a man also applies to a woman. You have a lot of women who are uh, doing well, got it going on, has have a, a higher learning degree, a master degree, doctor degree, and they're lonely. They're coming home every day by themselves. And so loneliness is not a good thing. Loneliness can be tough. Uh, now, you said that you have a lot of guys hitting you on your DMs. Now, have you ever gone off on a guy because he has gone too far in the, the question that he asks you, or do you give him an opportunity to just express himself and just say, no, nah, I'm not interested? Have you ever gone off on a guy before? I have never gone off on someone, but I let them say what they're going to say, and if it gets to be too much, I just block them. And I have blocked plenty of plenty. people. You got a long plenty. list of blocks. Yes. So do they ever try to create another... Uh, Facebook uh, profile and, and come come back again. I'm not sure. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because you know, people will do that. I'm uh, not sure, but I've stopped accepting Facebook friends. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, you, you haven't reached 5,000 yet? I'm at 4,800 and something, and the only reason why I'm at that number is because I started deleting people. Okay, so yeah. you, were, you did hit the magic number of 5,000. Okay, okay. You're a very important person, Michelle. I just want to let you know that. Uh, when you get 5,000, you are a public figure. Even Facebook recognizes that. Well, Facebook uh, Men are trying to give you the money. Now, you say you want it. Okay, you, you want the so big, we're going to go there. Yeah, you say you want the big chunk of change, and then you say you don't want the big chunk of change. We're going to go there. I'm just telling you. Okay. I'm just reminding okay, what you we're said. Gonna now, we're going to go there. Now, do you think... A man look at a woman as not being sexy when she doesn't show her assets? Yes. You do? Yes. Men still see women as attractive when they are fully clothed. Men, something I found out about men, I have been fully dressed on social media and men would still DM me about little stuff they zoomed in on on my body and say something about that. I'm fully clothed. So, y'all minds work a little differently. So, hmm. yeah. You yeah. think, you th listen, yeah. so you, you think that women don't have a lust problem? Women have a lust for all, yes. all of humanity have a lust problem. I'm, I'm going to say it myself. Sometimes. You got a lust problem. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I, that's human nature. It's human nature, uh, but God wants us to go away from that nature. But it is, uh, we're born in sin, shaping in iniquity. It is a human uh, uh, function, but at the appropriate time in marriage. So that's how God prefers it. But when men see all these scantily clad photos on social media, what what do you think it's appealing to? Our sin nature. You know, tongue star wagon, especially the longer you look, you know what I'm saying? Then you start commenting on this girl page. Now, either she's going to block you or she's going to uh, constantly accept your uh, compliments because she's feeding her ego. A lot of women feed their ego by posting these photos. Not everybody, That's but true. not everybody, but some people. I mean, if you're posting a photo in a long dress coming to your ankles, I don't think you're trying to get no, uh, you're trying to get your ego boosted unless... How do you know? That I, woman may think that's sexy. I, I said, I don't think, for the most part, most women don't do that. 
for the most part, with a long dress on, just try to see how many lights she get. Unless she's, you know, raised up in that type of environment where she can't wear a dress, you know, uh, above her, her, her kneecap. Now, what is too short? What do you consider too short of a skirt? <clears throat> because some women go to church with short skirts on where they sit down and you can actually see their panties. That's too short. It's, it is it's too, too short. short. And even when you're walking, I've seen some women to wear, when they're walking, and their skirt rises up. Yeah. And if it rises up and you can see the bottom of their butt cheek, yeah. it's too short. I think close to the knee, but not too close to the okay, knee. Okay, you got the knee. And, uh-uh. And that's about, no, I'm not, okay, that's, that's about one inch, two inch, three inch. Yeah. So, so we like that? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't see a problem. Yes. Thank you.